you have the time. What are you doing? Why? Why are you complaining that I want to be able to achieve, achieve something but you're not doing it? Hey, how you doing? I'm Wilson. I don't know why I did this. I'm Wilson and everything in this channel is dedicated in getting you into the flow state. Okay, so a lot of people come to me. I'm a coach. I'm a coach in getting people into the flow state. But a lot of people come to me and say, you know what? I do want to make a change, Wilson, but I just don't have the time, man. I don't have the time. You do have the time. You do. Okay, and I did a little bit of research just to really put salt in the wound of uh, everybody out there that is procrastinating, they feel overwhelmed and suffocated with so much stuff that they're doing, they don't find time in their life to be able to make the change. Check this out. Okay, so there's 8,736 hours in the year. Seven, you know, let's say on average you're sleeping seven hours. Okay, so that is 2,520 hours a year you're sleeping. Average person working, 40 hour week. That is 2,080 hours over the year. Right, so you get an idea, okay, of, of where I'm coming from. I'm looking at that detail. So check this out. For social media, people on Facebook, Instagram, everything like this, we find to, seem to find time for two and a half hours a day which is 17 and a half hours a week, which is 910 hours a year, okay? Time on Netflix, this was a survey done in 2019. Two hours a day, that's 14 hours a week. It's like a part-time job for some people, right? 14 hours a week on Netflix. 728 hours a year, you're, you're putting towards that. Now the reason I broke it down into years was because of this next part. The average quality time spent with family, 38 minutes a day, which works out 230 hours a year. What? <laughs> okay, average time exercising, two hours per week, which works out 104 hours a year. Uh, average time spent eating, is 362 hours a year, okay? So that gives us a remaining, taking all that in, and I know there's other things, but I'm just trying to make you feel guilty for not being able to do anything, right? So taking all that into account, there is 1,794 hours left, which basically works out as 34 hours, 0.5 a week which gives you four and a half hours a day. Four and a half hours a day. Now let's say that we take two of those and put them in with the family. Come on. You're still left with four and a half hours. Eh, sorry, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours a day. Now, even if you just took 30 minutes or even 15 minutes. I read a fantastic book, The Perfect Week Formula by Craig Ballantyne, right? I love it, I love it. Even though I can't remember the name, I know the guy. In his book, he built a million dollar business by spending 15 minutes a day. He did those 15 minutes a day before he went to work. 15 minutes, okay? Now, you have the time. What are you doing? Why? Why are you complaining that I want to be able to achieve, achieve something but you're not doing it? Now there may be people out there that are actioning things which is great, so this video is maybe not tailored specifically to you, but see all you guys and girls out there that want to make a difference but feel like you don't have the time, it's down to being disorganized, it's down to not structuring your day and planning your day correctly. Now I do know that if you've lived that lifestyle for a long period of time, your machinery, your mind body will be suff suffering as well. So it will be difficult for you to find this sort of motivation on a consistent basis. There's where you need to build a clear plan on a goal, a direction that you want to accomplish and make logical steps so you can put in discipline for this. 
Now when you use discipline, plus you look to improve your machinery, your mind and body, willpower will begin to help out that discipline. So keep this in mind that you do have the time. Now, remember, I've told you everything that's remaining. You could say, do you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm just not gonna have so much social media. I'm maybe only gonna watch one show on Netflix for one, you know, I'll do like a 45 minute show or whatever it is. And that gives you some extra time. Now, you can find the time to align yourself to your dreams, to your goals. Time is just down to you being disorganized, but I can give you the solutions to be organized, right? The best way, the best advice that I can give you is to have that clear goal. Have a clear goal for what you want to accomplish. When you look at that goal, right? Then what you want to do is make that goal massive, huge, almost like it's crazy, okay? Get that crazy goal in your mind. Then what you want to do is not compete or compare yourself to anybody. Only compare yourself to who you were before, not anybody else. That will give you a reframe in your mind to set you free to be able to step towards that goal. Now, on the journey to that, where you evolve as a man or a woman to accomplish that, there's where the real fruits lie. But you need that clarity of goal. Now, once you have that clarity of goal, and there's a few other techniques that you can use to really make that easier, you then structure the time. So let's say, you want to bulletproof yourself when you're working on this specific goal. Meaning if you're already working a nine to five job, if you already have a lot of family and personal commitments in there, the only real time for you to defend yourself is probably before everybody's up, probably before the, the flows of the day come into action. So you want to get yourself up early. Early in the day, ideally working with the circadian rhythm, because that will complement working on your machinery and improving your body and mind later. But let's say you get up a little bit early and you take two hours from that assessment we took there. And you think, you know what, two hours is quite long. I've not got enough time for that. Take half an hour, put half an hour in there. Half an hour block of work in the morning to do before you go and do all your other things. So you get up that a little bit early, take 30 minutes. And then what to do is, is be very specific in what you're gonna do in that 30 minutes taking you towards that goal. And then structure out the entire week, that 30 minutes. Reassess what you're gonna do after that 30 minute block every single day. If Craig Palantine can build a million dollar business in 15 minutes, what can you do in 30? If you plan correctly. Now the next thing I want you to take into account is as long as you're taking that 30 minutes, once you get momentum in that, look to add in other techniques and tools to reorganize your entire day, structure it, structuring it, so it can set you up to accomplish your goals. That is you beginning to take action to the goals. That's you beginning to sort of uh, bring to life the imagination, the, the, the attraction you're drawing into your world. You need that visual, mental, imagination, dream there, but you need to begin to action it and orchestrate it as you go. It's the action that makes it come to life, okay? So, remember the numbers that I said to you. You have the time, you have the time. What are you gonna do with your time? Thanks for listening, ciao.